Hi, this is Julie Harland, and I'm your math gal. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you could search for any of my videos organized by topic. All right, we're going to try to figure out how to do this markup problem. A computer store uses a markup rate of 45%. Now, remember, that means it has to buy something at a certain price, and then they take 5%. 45% of that price or cost and mark it up. That's how much profit they're going to make. So if a computer sells for 580, what was the cost of the computer? Now a common mistake that people make here is to take 45% of 580. So watch out for this common mistake. So a common mistake is to take 40% of the, the selling price. Hmm. That won't work. I'll show you why in a minute. So let's see, what if they did take 45% of the selling price? So you'd have 45% of 580. All right, so let's do that. You can get out your calculator and do 0.45 times 580. Okay. And what's that give you? All right, so I use my calculator. I got 261. All right, so some people think that's what the markup is. So the question, is that the markup? That's not really what they're asking yet, but the question, can you just take 45% of 261 and subtract it? So the common mistake here that I'm talking about, watch out for it, the common mistake here is to do 580 minus 261 for the markup. I mean for the, let me write that again a little bit better, is the cost 580 minus 261. So let's see, if you do um, 580 minus 261, do that on your own scratch paper, you get $381. So that's the question. Would that have worked to do 45% of 580? Okay, well now let's go back. What if you knew you bought something for 381 and you marked it at 45%? So, well, let's figure that out. The markup would be 45% of 381, which is 0.45 times 381, right? So let's do that now. What is 0.45 times 381? And that is $171.45. Okay, so if that's the markup, what would the store do? They would take the original price, so how would they get their selling price? They would take what they bought it for, $381, right? They would add on their markup, and they'd be selling it for $552.45. But look at the problem. It sells for It sells for $580. So you see this whole strategy did not work. So this is a common mistake you want to watch out for. If it uses a markup rate of 45 and you're given the selling price, you can't take 45% of the selling price. You have to take it of the cost, but you're not given the cost. All right, so now you're going to go on to how to do this correctly. A computer store uses a markup rate of 45%. If a computer sells for $580, what was the cost of the computer? This is a little bit trickier because we take the markup rate, 45%, and we have to do a, that of what it actually costs, but we don't know what it costs. So we're going to have to introduce a variable here. We're going to let C be the cost of the computer. Not the selling price, but the cost of the computer. 
Now, wh- how d- does the um, the com- the store decide how to get the selling price? They have a markup, right, of forty five percent of the cost. But we don't know what that is either. We don't know that total amount. But we know that the, if we take the cost of the computer and we add that markup, well, what would the markup be? The markup is 45% of whatever it cost. So you have to reason this out. So you take the actual cost of the computer plus this uh, markup, right, which is 45% of the cost, and that is going to give you the selling price of the computer. So this is a little bit trickier. All right, so now how would you solve this equation? It's a little bit tricky because you've got this C plus 0.45C. So you have to use your algebra skills here, and you're going to add like terms. And to add like terms, remember you add the coefficient. Coefficients. What's the coefficient of C in this first term? You don't see it. If you don't see it, remember it's a 1. So it's 1C plus 0.45C. So if you add the coefficients, 1, 0, 0.00, plus 0.45, that's 1.45. So when you add like terms on the left, it's 1.45C. And now you could divide both sides by 1.45. And you might want to use a calculator for this one. Hopefully you got 400. All right. So this means the cost of the computer was $400. Now, you want to look and see if that seems reasonable given the information. What it says is they use a markup rate of 45%. And does that seem reasonable? Like 50% would mean you'd add half of 400 onto it, right? So if you bought something for 400 and it was 50%, you would add $200. It would sell for $600. But notice it's selling for 580, so it certainly looks like it's in the ballpark. So let's just double check. We'll do 45% of 400, which is 0.45, or actually, I'm just going to write that as 45 hundredths times 400. So basically, you see how those zeros counts? I just have 45 times 4. I don't need a calculator for that. I'm going to multiply by 2, which is 90. Multiply by 2 again. It's going to be $180 markup. That's the profit, right? Markup means the same thing as profit. So if you had original price of $400 and you marked it up 180, you get 580. And yeah, that's what it said. It said that it was selling for $580. So this is a little bit tricky, this one, because the markup, remember, is based on the cost of the computer, not what it sells for. So you have to reason this out. So here we've got, that's the cost of the computer, right? That's the profit right here. The profit or the markup mean the same thing. And this over here refers to the selling price. Okay, so those are, those ones uh, throw people off often for a couple reasons. First of all, you've got two variables. You have to write the variable down twice. Second, people get all confused right, figuring out what to do with C plus 0.45C. And remember, it's 1.45C. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you can view all of my videos which are organized by topic.